Securing systems like CJADC2 will be one of the jobs of the Defense Department's Zero Trust Initiative. The department says it'll complete its Zero Trust implementation in 2027. Conrad Meyerino is cybersecurity mission engineer for U.S. public sector at Zscaler. He thinks the Defense Department should and can finish faster. So pushing the 2027 goal is, uh, I think that's a little long to be able to do it. It, it should be done much more quickly. Uh, when we think about our adversaries and how quick and agile they are, they're leveraging the cloud, they're doing things that enable them to effectively get success on their missions. I think the DOD should follow their, their pillars, if you will, of zero trust, whether it's user, device, network, application, automation, visibility, analytics, and, and build what I like to call a cyber radar, or getting left of boom, if you will. When you understand this kind of data and putting it in place, as, as you said, you would understand the caliber of the load to take the adversary out because you could see what's coming. That's how, where the DOD, in my opinion, needs to go. And I think they are going in that path. I think it, you're talking about a huge ship in a, in, in, in a pond, if you will. We've got to right, you know, turn that ship around. It's not as easy as everyone thinks it could be done. Every, every decision has to have the warfighter in mind. This decision hurt the warfighter. Does it enable the warfighter? What does it do? And, and that needs to be discussed on every decision. What are the opportunities that the department has to truncate that timeline to hit that goal before 2027, as you described a moment ago? I think they really need to leverage industry. Look at what industry is doing. If you look at the finance, the health, uh, the healthcare, they're actually starting to move. The DOD, again, they, they, every decision requires the warfighter in mind, and that decision may not be as fast. I think there's issues. Someone in China, someone in Russia, in all honesty, goes to their leader and says, I think I could beat America. I need this. Here's your check. Go run and do it. In America, it's a lot different. We have rules that go into Congress, Senate, Congress, Senate, and it's four years later. Here's your money. They're long gone, and their mission was successful. I'd like to see that process sped up so that the DOD can make decisions without having to rely so much on government bureaucracy. What can the department do, in your view, in the meantime, to try to speed the process up? What you're talking about sounds like requires parties outside of the Defense Department to agree to. What can the department do internally, do you think, if anything, to, to get to that deadline faster? Try to go after the low-hanging fruit first. It's gonna take a long time to do, but I think there's a path that can be done in a manner that they could be successful and, and shift that timeline left. Maybe get it done way before 27 by doing an, uh, the, understanding the IDP, settling an, I, an IDP for all mill depths to use, getting to a zero trust platform in, in, in transit, whether that be a Z-scaler, if you will, that minimizes the threat landscape. And what does that mean for the minimization of, of, of threat landscape? If I have a VPN, a VPN, you bring the security to the user. What happens? Knock, knock. Who's there? Here's my zero day. Let me in. Zero trust today, modernized, that this can be done very quickly where you remove those open listeners that are listening out there. That's the attack service that the adversary is using. And you've seen that in that last VPN. I don't like to bring up people's you know, company names, but we all know that that VPN took down a lot of the government because a lot of them were using it.